right, welcome back everybody to more of the New Vegas Sand Trap. I'm your host, Dennis Silvers, and uh, Paul Brown has left the building. Him and Elvis, Paul realized he had an earlier tea time that he thought, and I said, go, listen, I'd do the same thing to you. I'd, I'd leave in five minutes, so uh, we're going to have Paul Brown back because he's got, uh, he's got a great story, and he does a lot for golf here in uh, Southern Nevada. But not to worry, because right now, joining us uh, is our next guest, who you're thoroughly going to enjoy. And let me tell you a little bit about uh, Mr. Mark Simon. We're going to bring him up right now. Mark is uh, one of the vice presidents for Reed Expo, the people that put on the uh, PGA show. Uh, in Orlando as well as here in Las Vegas, as you know, and Mark is responsible for uh, overseeing all of the activities that uh, happen at the PGA show coming up in uh, Orlando in a couple of weeks that I have spoken about extensively. So uh, we're very, very pleased to have Mark with us. And, and Mark, welcome. I know you have an extraordinary busy schedule, so I really do appreciate you taking time out and spending a few minutes with us here on the show. Well, Dennis, it is a, a crazy time, and our team is really excited and gearing up for the event, but uh, happy to spend some time with you today. So thanks well, for having me. Oh, I appreciate it. Mark, let me start off and, and, and have you briefly explain to all of our viewers what this show is all about and why it's so important to the golf industry. Well, yeah, no, this, this show is really the kickoff to the golf season. It's the global gathering for the business of golf and attracts more than 40,000 visitors from close to 90 countries that attend during PGA Show Week. And again, it fosters the global community of golf. It brings everybody together to discuss the major issues facing the game. And it's, it's a great forum for companies to launch new product. And it's really, the, again, the global gathering place for the golf, for the golf, for the business of golf. Yeah, it, it's 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 just off. I describe it, Mark, to uh, everybody I know and all of our listeners and viewers as a as a candy store for golfers because you have everything there that you could possibly want. You've got some new events uh, this year at the show, in particular one that I'm involved with with high uh, high uh, sports innovation and their Shark Tank competition. Tell us a little bit about that and how that came about. Mark? Yeah, well, Hype Sports runs a no number of innovation challenges for startups and various other sports. They do an event at the World Cup. I believe they did an event at the Super Bowl before. They've done, again, a number of events, um, again, for new companies. And we thought, uh, you know, they haven't done anything in golf before. And we thought the merchandise show that there was no better place for them to do their first ever global golf innovation competition. And they're going to be doing it on Tuesday during show week. So we couldn't be more excited to be partnering with a group that fosters innovation like they do. Yeah, totally. And I'm excited because uh, we've talked and I'm going to be emceeing the event forum. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, being involved in that. How much effort, Mark, do you put into actively going out and seeking uh, exhibitors uh, or after all of these years uh, of the show being in existence, do you really have to do that? Or do you have a lot of people coming to you that want to exhibit at the show? It's kind of a combination of both. I mean, if you're in the golf business, you know, pretty much anybody who's anyone in the business knows about the show. They know that it's a great forum for launching new product. So we do have a lot of companies coming to us, but we also have our team, you know, actively, uh, you know, scouting out other shows that are out there. Uh, we have a number of new initiatives that, um, you know, are very important to the golf industry, but wouldn't necessarily be looked at as core to golf. So, for example, golf fitness is a, is a huge trend, a growing trend. Uh, that area of the show has grown tremendously. We've launched a new uh, racket and paddle sports co-location with the show because, again, there are a lot of tie-ins and synergies between tennis and golf, and a lot of golf facilities are adding uh, paddle ball courts, pickleball, right. tennis, and Things that are on the fringes, but that enhance the experience for all the buyers and the PGA professionals coming to the event. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm so glad living in Las Vegas, of course, that you uh, do a show here uh, called the PGA Demo and Fashion Show here in Las Vegas, I believe in uh, August uh, at the Venetian. Why do you guys feel it's important to uh, show here in Las Vegas? And I'm certainly glad that you do, obviously. 
Well, there, there's a couple of reasons. I mean, Las Vegas, number one, is a great venue. People like to go to Las Vegas, so that always helps to attract people to the event. The timing for the show in August is actually perfect for the apparel and the fashion brands. Las Vegas Fashion Week is going on at that time in Las Vegas, and that's basically where all the companies are debuting their spring lines. So it's a really important time in the in the apparel and the fashion world. So close to 60% of that show is apparel manufacturers. We've also partnered with Topgolf, and we have a very exciting demo event for equipment companies to, to uh, showcase their latest lines. And again, that's at Topgolf over in Las Vegas. So we've been very happy with the, the location. Um, it also provides for an opportunity for those who might be too busy or it's their, their really busy season to Orlando to have an event to go to. This, again, right. if you're in you know, the desert Southwest or Florida, that's your high time. Yeah, no, and, and it, it, you, you do a great event over at Top Golf. Everybody enjoys it, and as you know, it's their flagship store over here, so it's really a good time for everybody. Mark Simon, uh, Vice President of Reed Expo, uh, hanging here with us on the, on the New Vegas Sand Trap. Mark, why did uh, Reed Expo feel uh, it was important to kind of take over the show from years back when uh, I believe the PGA of America was running the show. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, for the PGA of America, they wanted to focus on direct initiatives that that tied to PGA professionals. And the show just became, it became so big that it was almost unmanageable for their team to handle. And uh, Reed was better equipped, again, to, to grow the show, to add special events, some of the marketing capabilities that, we, that we've had. And it's just been a great partnership between the PGA of America and Reed. Not to put you on the spot, but Reed Expo does shows all over the world. Do you know uh, uh, how many shows in total that Reed is involved with? Yeah, believe it or not, around the world, we do close to 500 events in various industries. And that could be anything wow. from the jewelry industry to security to hardware to gaming. But, of course, my favorite growing up in the golf industry and the whole time I've been here, I've actually been with the golf shows is, of course, the PGA Merchandise Show. Right, right, which is uh, which is is the coolest by far, you know, obviously, in our opinion. All right, so how am I going to find you in uh, Orlando at the PGA show so I could buy you a beer or buy you lunch or something? <laughs> well, if it's not over uh, across the street at the Hyatt, you'll probably, you know, I like I like being out there uh, on the show floor. I think that's where the majority of the energy is, and there's so much buzz and excitement. And, you know, if I ever get the chance, I'll take 30 minutes to, to kind of escape and just talk to talk to pros and talk to exhibitors. And, and I love to see the new products that are being launched during the show. Again, I'm a huge golfer and uh, you said it yourself, it's a kid in a candy store. So you might find me wandering the aisles and we can catch up then. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm, I'm going to be looking for you. Anyway, Mark, I'll let you get back to work. I, I know that you're very busy. Thank you for taking time out. And I look forward to seeing you soon uh, at the show uh, in a couple of weeks. And thanks for coming on. Thanks so much for having me, Dennis. Really appreciate it, and we'll see you at the show. You got it. My pleasure. Mark Simon, everybody. All right, we're going to step away and take uh, take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to finish up with more of the new Vegas Sand Trap with me, Dennis Silver. So stay with us. We're back right after this.